Hi, it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing About Face Beauty. So let me tell you a little bit about the brand. This is a brand by Halsey, the singer, and it's supposed it is a vegan brand and these are like their talk points basically is it's high performance makeup, pigment saturated, long wearing, buildable, versatile formulas. And then vegan, clean, and cruelty-free, formulated without gluten, phthalates, parabens, or synthetic fragrances. And then their last talk point is empower self-expression, makeup without rules made for the many of you. That's a nice sort of like, this is what my brand is about. I like that a lot. I Sometimes you just like, you don't know what a brand is like why they're in the industry. So it's nice to see like sometimes where they like put out, this is what our mission is, this is what our mission statement is. So anyways, I'm sure you guys have seen this brand like all over Instagram and TikTok. It, whoop, it is very popular, but it's kind of like underground popular, if that makes sense. Like it's more an indie brand. I think it is coming to Ulta soon. So it's probably gonna rock it up soon, but the thing you probably know the most is the paints. This is the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. So these are probably the most popular. And they just came out with a cream blush, so a whole bunch of influencers have been talking about that. So I have two of these. I have a Fractal Glitter Dust. I've never used something like this before, so I'm interested in it. I got... Um, this was a little just kind of like a joke sort of product for me because I don't know when I'll use it, but because I have purple hair, I got a purple glitter eyebrow gel <laughs> and then a lip gloss. So we will see how all of it performs. I have tried these two before and I have mixed feelings about it. I don't, I haven't quite found the happy medium of how to use it because I'll show you some of the looks I've done with it before. And I have a video of me working with the yellow color and it just, it, it, it dried down really quickly and then I couldn't blend it and then it started like peeling. And I don't know if that was because of like my primer, my sunscreen, what, but it did not work well. So I will swatch these for you, but I'm not going to be doing the makeup look with this. I'm going to be doing the makeup look with this because I've never used uh, a loose a loose eyeshadow before. So this red color is Scream of Consciousness. Okay. <laughs> it applies really nicely, but then you got to figure out how to use it like really quickly. So I can blend it with like a, a brush, a dense brush. But if I let it dry down, then it's not moving. It will not go anywhere, which is nice. You know, that's something you want. But if you're like a beginner to using makeup products sort of like this, it's going to be kind of intimidating because you need to work quickly with it is basically what I'm trying to say. I will show you the yellow as well. I've used the red a lot because I actually don't have a red eyeshadow like just an eyeshadow I use on its own. For some reason, all my eyeshadow palettes don't have red, like straight up red. So I've used this a lot. And then this yellow one, yellow usually doesn't show up well on my skin tone, just like powdered yellows, powdered eyeshadow. So I thought to get a, a liquid one. And since I was buying from About Face, I decided to get this. So I'll swatch this one as well. There's the yellow, and I can blend it out too. So I blend it out a little bit. This is the one I had a hard time with because it started drying down a lot quicker than I wanted it to. And see, I'm trying to mix the yellow and the red together, but since the red is dried down, it's like, nope, I don't want anything to do with that color. So they are just like opposing forces here. But I'm going to be moving on to my next products. These are the products I've been so excited for. I've used these two eye paints, but I haven't used anything else 
So these are gonna be first impressions. So I'm gonna save the, the glitter dust for last. Let's look at the lip gloss. So they have a, like a pull here to open it, but that would destroy the box. So I don't know if I just wanna open the box or I'll, I'll play along. So, you know, it's like one of those, what they have on like applesauce containers. It didn't go all the way around. I messed up. Oh, well, okay. I can't fix it, can I? Okay, well, the package is destroyed. But you know what? I don't save packages anymore. And I only save them for like, if I'm gonna do a review on it and I wanna show the packaging. Most times I just put them aside. So, oh, this is a very sleek packaging. It kind of doesn't match with the fluid eye paint. So it, it has like a different vibe. Like this is geometric and matte. And then this is kind of like futuristic and metallic. So it's an interesting combination. So like if you were to say this is all about face and you look at all the products, it's not... It doesn't look very cohesive to me, but that's not really a thing anymore of like having cohesive brands. Everyone just like wants something new. Ooh, it kind of smells like menthol. Is this a plumping lip gloss? It better not be. I, I'm not very good with plumping lip glosses. It has silica in it and lavender oil and peppermint oil. The sniffer works well. Did I get in my nose? So I think I'll be able to use this in the makeup look, but I can swatch it. I hate having lip gloss on my hands though. Ooh, it's like a pink sort of lavender color. I don't know how well it shows up on camera. I had to sh turn off like the, the autofocus because I kept going out of focus. So that's what that looks like. Okay, and next we have the fractal brow, brow whiz. Ooh, okay, see these two match. The metallic vibes and the very simpli simplistic, very simple, low key sort of um, font on the packaging. So like the font all matches, that's all good and dandy. It's just like the metallic versus the matte that's kind of like jarring. So let's look at this. Maybe they're different collections. Because sometimes you do that, it just like, you revamp the whole brand with a different collection. So let's look at this. Oh, that's an interesting brush. It is flat on one side, oop, my hands. And then it has like bristles, but they're like plastic bristles on the other side. And it's a very shiny. It looks kind of pink to me. I don't think it'll match my purple but we will see. So I'll try and like, I don't know how this is gonna work, but oh, that's gonna make my brows really pigmented. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be like a cute little, oh, you have purple sparkles on your eyebrows. No, no, it's gonna be all, all purple, all pink. It's like, ooh, it's holographic though, that's nice. I wish I could use that with this because it, it's, it doesn't match. But I kind of want to use it. Can I? I can just wipe it off. Don't stop in me. I'm in my own house. I'll just wipe it off. I want to see what it looks like. Um, clear the head. <laughs> and let's, let's do it. Okay. Putting it on is more low-key. Unless maybe I do this. Oh. I like that. It's a little messy though. That may just be my hands. How's that look? It doesn't, it, it sticks out a little bit, but it like only if you were paying attention to it. So that's a cute little product. I like it. it I mean, I got it as more of a, a little gag anyways. So all is good. Now let's look at the Juniper Leaf. I've been waiting for this one. When I saw this, back at the, like the beginning of my makeup journey, I saw a makeup look by um, one of these Instagram creators. I think her name is Danielle. 
Danielle Mick. I'm sure I can find her right away. It's Dan Danielle Markan. Danielle Markin. She's verified. So I first saw one of her videos when I was starting my beauty journey and she was doing like a Slytherin sort of look. So like it was all black and then like the sparkly greens and it was, it was amazing. I saved that to like my phone and I just like admired it for the longest time. So when I saw this, this product, I was like, oh my God, that'd be perfect to try that look. So I don't know how to work with this sort of product though. So that's the only, that's the only if and and but. So it comes, it has a lid and then another lid inside and then I think you just dust it. I thought I could just like dip my, 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 my brush in. How you work. Do I have to like remove a plastic covering or something? Sprinkle it on. Oh, okay. And maybe if I... Ooh. Oh. I don't know. That's not as green as I thought it was going to be. Where is it? Right here. Don't look at my face. It just kind of dissipated. Like, it's holographic, but it's not what I... Wasn't quite what I was expecting. Like, on my finger. It's pretty cool. But we'll try it. We'll try it. We will try it. Hey, so I went ahead and got started to into the makeup look. So what I'm hope what I was planning to do was kind of like emulating what I saw before. Uh, I don't know how good that's gonna work now, but I have this down as a base. It's the NYX Jumbo Eye Crayon in Black Bean, and I sharpened it, guys. You can sharpen these. So don't just go keep getting new ones. You have it, you have it. And then I'm going to sort of like blend out the edges, make it all cohesive. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but I'm gonna try with this sort of like stippling brush first, cause this is like a cream product. So hopefully I don't get red everywhere. And I've, um, I've been doing a 21, no, not a 21. I've been doing a 31 days of Halloween and this is going to be my day seven. Now I'm gonna go in with a black eyeshadow that kind of will help with everything getting back to what I need it to be because now it's just like a base. So I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow. Now you know why I'm wearing my raccoon necklace. I had to take the earrings off, they were hurting my ears. So now that we're raccooned up, we are going to go in with this. I'm gonna put it in this little tray and hopefully that'll make it easier to work with. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. I also don't know how much I'm gonna need because I want it to be that green shade. Oh, do you see that? Y'all, you see it? It's working. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need to use a Q-tip to clean this up because I'm so sloppy right now. I, my hands have just been like really unsteady recently and it's just kind of getting worse. So I've been learning how to work around it. Maybe I should find like one of those stabilizing, um, brush sort of things. You know, they have it for spoons. <sighs> okay, we got that one eye down. I'm gonna keep going on and see how green I can get it. And that's what I want. I want it to be the greenest sparkling green you've ever seen in your life. And you're like, oh my God, is that a Slytherin? You know what? I'm actually a Gryffindor. I've taken the Pottermore test so many times. So many times and then, um, I also did it when I was at the studios in Japan. So I'm either a Gryffindor, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Slytherin. And last time we left it off, I was a Gryffindor. So that's what I've been saying. But all of my friends would probably say I'm a Slytherin. Love it, hate it, be as it may. I am the one you fell for. I want this 
to come out easier, but I understand why they make it so... Oh, I have it all over my table. Can I pick it up from here? Am I going to get an eye infection doing that? We're back. I cleaned it up a little bit, but we're going to keep working on it. I'm going to put some green on my bottom lashes. It's a completely different sort of green. Does it? Okay, keep, oops, keep going. Don't doubt myself. Because we're going to blend that black in there, but we want that little bit of... Oh. I'm going to use this brow glue here. And just put everything up. I just want clean, manicured, and evil. Did I say we're doing a, a poison ivy look? <laughs> yeah, it's Halloween. We're gonna do something a little theatric. Where did you think I was going with the raccoon eyes? Thought I was just going out to the club, going to Club Slytherin. Yes, ma'am. Somebody playing trumpet? There's somebody in this neighborhood who has been learning how to play a trumpet for so long. So freaking long. I hope they get better. <laughs> and now we're gonna go in with blush. Don't worry, this is going to all come together and we're gonna all be like, oh my gosh, we should have never doubted you, Ty. You, you are amazing. You are everything. Have you guys seen Inventing Anna? That's kind of the voice I was doing there. Should we just put this right on our eyes? Yay! Yeah, oh. It looks so much better on the TikTok camera than in the person camera. In person camera, not so much. TikTok filtered camera, oh yeah. Well, yeah, so much better. Here is where it starts to get exciting. We have to do the lashes first though. We have to have everything sort of in place before we start decorating. You know what I mean by decorating? I'm sure you do. It's Ty's favorite activity, decorating. We're gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I'm so glad for editing cause all of these like weird pauses in the middle, gone. Lips can wait. Can it? Yes, lips can wait. Now, we're gonna powder. <laughs> we're gonna powder first. I'm on the next mm, level. Uh, dun, dun, dun. We have flowers and leaves. Leaves. Some of them are loose. Some of them are loosey goosey. These are real pressed and dried flowers. So now we need to put everything in place. How are we gonna do this? Should we, ooh wait. Like that? No. <laughs> the universe said no. This is such a big piece. I feel like I should break it though. Separate it out a little bit. Like this, this is more manageable. Oh, I have an idea, okay. That's what we're gonna do, but we need to, we do a little bit of eyelash glue with this. It's a little bit harder to do cause it's real stuff but we got it. Got one on. Gotta make sure it sticks though. This is so hard. I think I liked it here. Yeah, let's do that. I got these from Amazon. So I will have them linked down below. I want to add flowers. I don't know if I have like dark flowers though. I have white flowers. Oh, I have just leaves hiding from me back there. Perfect. Okay, I have to do the other side of this. Should I, should it be symmetrical? I love how I'm asking you questions like you can actually answer me. I don't think it should be should I don't think it should be symmetrical. 
Yeah. Okay, I like that. If you like your like that, we're just gonna be forced fi fying our face. I don't know if you guys want to see like the whole process of me finding where to put everything on, because that's gonna take forever. So this is basically what I'm doing. I have all of these leaves and flowers, and I'm just finding placement for it. It's really how it's gonna look how it matches your face because my face is different from yours and it's gonna have like different contours different elevations yeah you know so really just experiment with it when i'm testing it all on it's kind of just sticking to my makeup and then i put the glue on so don't put the glue on first and then be trying to stick it all over the place or you're gonna have glue on your face okay so go experiment i'll be back and i'll show you what i have hello i'm can't really talk because I have it right by my mouth. These ones are coming up a little bit, but it, like it creates a 3D effect, you know? And uh, Poison Ivy, she has red lips, so I'm going to use this. It's a plumping, I know. It's a jelly plumping water tint, and hopefully it's red enough. So I'm going to put this on. No. There's a chicken in my backyard. I didn't line my lips, so I have glue all over my hands. I wonder if I could put a little bit of this gloss just to... Oh, I can smell the menthol. Just a hint of gloss there. Okay, should I take the hair down? Do we think it's time to take the hair down to get the full poison ivy look or should I add more I like it I know some people are gonna be like okay you just put flowers and leaves on your face that's not the point it's not the point okay <laughs> yeah let's take the hair down Ta-da! So yeah, I really like this. I'm gonna get more of this because I feel like there were a lot of colors and just putting this on top of black was like, my, my lips are tingling now. But this was amazing. Get this, if you've never worked with like powdered eyeshadow before, I think this is a very good option to start out with because it has like the safety cap and then you can just like put it on top of other stuff instead of like having it on its own and like trying to finagle with it. I feel like this would be a really good way to just start with it. The lip gloss, I didn't really use it. I'm sure I'll use it later. I don't usually use lip gloss toppers that much, but I thought this was really pretty, so I got it. Uh, this, I feel like this is gonna be the most fun thing ever. I'm so excited to use this just for, for fun and for looks. These, I'm still working on it. I'm still learning how to use it. If like if you're gonna use it to like draw, I think it would be better for that because then it dries down into place and you don't like have to worry about blending it. But like if you're gonna use this to cover a big surface, no, do not. Cover your eyes, fine. Cover like cheeks and stuff, no. It dries too quickly for that. But yeah, these are also a really friendly way to get started with like liquid eyeshadow. So I think this brand is just like really beginner friendly. So like if you have no experience with makeup, because we all start somewhere, like this is a great brand to start off with. And the prices are really reasonable. And Halsey also came out with um, AF94, I think, which is an either, is an extension of this brand, but it's like even cheaper. Like it's meant for everyone. So like everyone can get it. Like some of their products are like $6 and stuff. So 
If you guys want me to, I can review that brand as well. So this was About Face Beauty by Halsey, and then there's AF2094. I'm thinking about the, the, the movie company, AF94, which is also her brand. So yeah, I really hope you guys will try out this brand, try out some of the makeup. If you do, please send me a, uh, a look, send me, tag me. I would really enjoy seeing it. I get so many sweet messages from viewers and stuff, and like it makes my day. So, if you're not already, please like and subscribe. Come back next time. Yeah. So, ooh. And also follow all my other social medias and my Twitch. I go live on Saturdays and sometimes I go live during the week. I play video games such as Genshin Impact, Sims, anything else. I play lots of games. Anyways, follow me everywhere. Subscribe to me here and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.